Supreme Court decision of Brown versus the Board of Education occurred in uh, 1954. So I think I was 13 years old. I remember reading a piece in the local newspaper that that Supreme Court decision was going to change the face of the South forever. And I, I said, good, the face of the South, the segregation, the Jim Crow laws, the restrictions on where you could go, where you could work, all of that seemed to me to be something I, I wanted to change. Uh, I didn't see it as any benefit to me, and it was a picture of Little Rock that I thought needed to be changed. The Little Rock School Board, after being sued, had decided that they were going to comply with the Supreme Court decision. They were going to accept African-American students who lived in the Central District and had interest in transferring. Well, there were probably hundreds of students who signed a small document indicating they were interested in that. As the first day of school rolled around, the numbers that were transferring started to dwindle considerably. This hundred went down to 35 or 40, to eventually to 10 students, and I was one of the 10. Little Rock Central High School had a reputation of being a great place. Lots of courses that didn't offer at the, uh, at the black high school. Of the nine, I was the only one in the 12th grade. The others were spread through 10th and the 11th grades. I, I felt, you know, it was uh, obviously an important piece for me to complete that year and to be able to graduate, and if I did that, it'd be impossible for them to say that Little Rock Central High School was lily white. It would have had at least one graduate, and that would have been me. Uh, somewhere during the middle of the school year, I was notified that I had received an anonymous scholarship to Michigan State. I had to go look at a map, find out where Michigan State was, and saw that it was a Big Ten school and near Lansing. Obviously, I wanted to go there. I thought that the uh, state of Michigan had very progressive colleges and universities. So all in all, it, it was intriguing to me that all I needed to do was to complete high school and I had the scholarship waiting for me. Michigan State has a, has a long history uh, of being involved in changing things and uh, it was the right fit for me and it turned out that a large college environment was something that uh, I was able to make make work for me. I'm a true Spartan. I, uh, I bleed green and white. You have to really work hard to get to know a broad range of students in an environment like Michigan State. I had lunch with students today. I expressed that they were the first in their family to, uh, uh, to go here and, and the comments that they had about how some of their friends I wondered, why, why are you going to college? What is that going to do for you? I think my experience here uh, helped me to figure out it's a big place. Uh, everybody is trying to do the same thing. What makes it that you're going to stand out and somebody wants you to come back 50 years later and talk about your experience? And uh, you got to be willing to fight for it. You got to be willing to believe it, and uh, you got to be willing to, to stand, stand up and stand your ground and explain why.